So I announced my bag subscription. Bags, 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 bags. And you all just loved it so much. So many Granny Square creations. Ah! Oh. Hey team, welcome back to HD Designs Crochet, HDDC. I'm Heather and I'm a stay at home mama and a crochet designer. I have a thing for granny squares. I spend my days snuggling my baby, crocheting my heart out and I have things to show you today. How are you? I hope that you're tickety boo. Um, wherever you are right now, let me know what your weather is, what is the situation that you are dealing with. It's 25 degrees here, which is like 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It's warm. I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who commented, watched, liked everything on my last vlog. So I announced my bag subscription and I showed you pattern one. This is my Allure bag. And you all just loved it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> I received so many amazing messages on Instagram and YouTube of like, thank you for acknowledging the juggle. Thank you for showing what it means to embrace the season that you're in, to choose to care for yourself. Um, that we just don't see many messages like that out there. And isn't that the truth? You all seem so, so excited about my subscription and it's like all that I dared to hope for and more. And you've all asked for more details. This is gonna be pattern one of my new subscription. This will be launching as the first pattern on the 15th of August 2024. If you comment below when the pattern goes out, I'll be sure to come back and let you know below and leave the links for you so you can go and sign up. As I said, it's called Allure and it's a granny square mini tote. It's currently in testing at the moment and they most of my testy besties are almost done, so that's pretty cool. Um, I use double knit acrylic yarn. I use double knit acrylic yarn for everything. It's like my favorite yarn to use. And, and, <laughs> because you all love the subscription so much and you're so excited about the bag patterns, I wanted to sit down and say thank you. And I also wanted to take you through some of my bag patterns. We have existing and we have future. And then I have bag designs on the way. Like there's literally loads of them behind you that I'm working on. <sighs> bag one, Allure. This is gonna be the first bag of my subscription. Coming August the 15th, 2024. And, oh. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see how, like, how many people are gonna be joining? How many people are gonna be on the chat with me? Like, I can't wait to see all your color choices. And I just, I'm really hoping and praying that this is, this is what I need for HTDC to make it sustainable. I'm a stay at home mama. And so many people out there in the crochet world have got like their whole day to sit and design and make and whatnot and that is not my reality anymore and i was really really struggling to make the shift and like transition into mama mode and mama means business and i'm hoping this subscription means that i have arrived this one is my iconic granny square bag it's more of like I, want, I don't want to say a mini satchel, but it's got the flap and the magnetic closure. This is actually my key ring, 
which is coming in my mini collection, also launching in August on Granny Square Day. Um, on this bag, I chose to go with the black hardware. So it's got the black gunmetal D-rings and clip. I used the black glitter sparkle yarn to join. And then I used my, it's like signature me is like scrap Granny Square. And if you download my Granny Square guide, which you also get with all of my patterns. I have like a secret method that I use, secret, not so secret, cause I shared it in my Granny Square guide to make it look as if I just grabbed any old color and just put it together any old how, when the actual truth is that I very carefully select and curate my colors to get it looking like this. And all the details are in my Granny Square guide. This one is gorgeous. And I also need to add that these are like a 100% crochet. There is no fabric, there is no sewing, there is no sewing machine, crochet, crochet hook. Come back sunshine, we need the light. I made Iconic in black and I've also made it in pink. And look at the difference that a color can make. So again, I went with this scrap yarn for joining. Uh, for the granny squares, I joined it all in pink. Like the same, but different. And for this one, I went with the silver hardware. Thank you, Keely, for sending me this when I needed it in a pinch. Let me just give you a little tour of the bag. Front, side, back, side, bottom, top, and then to open you have the magnetic clasp and this is the inside I need a shelf where all of my bags are on them because that's gonna look the most satisfying thing I've ever seen iconic is already available it's part of my I Heart granny square collection and that is a part of that's got five patterns in there all granny square all amazing if i do say so myself but you don't need to take my word for it because it also has like 30 plus five star reviews on my website as well as a load on etsy i need to do a transition because this is a new reveal to the channel so You have seen me working on this in the last, I don't know, three, four vlogs. It isn't 100% finished, we will get to that, but it is getting there and I am in love with it. What do you think to this bag? Right, let me do the tour and then we'll give you, I'll give you the details and then we'll talk about the bit that I need help on. There's a couple of things I need help on actually. Front, side, back, side bottom which is all in one piece and then we have the top which isn't quite finished yet and then we have the handle and i went with the gold hardware can you see i went with the chunky gold hardware uh oh hey you can come in i only need like five minutes but i can do it later Thanks. <laughs> come on, Abs, come lie down. Lie down and be quiet. Thank you. Couple things that I'm working on is the zip. I have pinned it into place for now and I'm figuring out how I want it to look. Um, I'm not 100% I'm not happy with it, hence why I haven't actually finished it, but it's getting there. And then with this handle, I'm really pleased with it because I made it like this one. I did rows of crochet, but I actually crocheted this together. So there's no, it doesn't come apart, whereas this one does. And it's just giving me like a whole lot more sturdy, luxurious. Really, really pleased with that. It's not got the stretch. Whereas this one does stretch a fair bit, I did modify this bag, this strap, to add an edge to it so it doesn't stretch as much. Um, 
but that was a later addition I made. Oh, that was a later tweak I made after tester feedback. I love it. I absolutely love it. It could potentially be pattern two of the bag subscription. However, I have five patterns. However, out of the five, two of them aren't granny square. So I was thinking of doing granny square, non-granny square, granny square, non-granny square, granny square. Okay, I need your help. What do I name this shoulder bag? Because it doesn't have a name as of yet. I really want, I really want something that is like one word. Um, so I've got Allure, I've got Iconic, all of my patterns have a meaning behind them. This one, it just hasn't quite come to me yet. So what would you name it? My vibes are Granny Squares, Mamahood. I want to say like Stolen Moments, but it's not Stolen Moments. It's like Indulgence, like making sure I'm taking time for myself. Indulgence. Hmm um it's about i don't want to say self-care because that's quite cliche but like prioritizing myself prioritizing my health prioritizing my family <sighs> priorities i could call it priorities anyway can you please put some name suggestions below even if it's just like a word that you heard that you think is cool can you just share them and give me some ideas and then this little number is a wild card. This is another one of my designs and I made this last November. Its name is Glimmer. Let me give you a tour. Front, side, back, side, bottom, top, chain. <laughs> you can see in comparison to Iconic that it's just a little bit smaller rather than having the flap it's got the zip and it's got the gunmetal black hardware and a small little chain it's more like a wristlet chain and this is like the party bag that gives the most and i made it at the time because there was quite a lot of stuff going on that felt really tough and difficult but this was like a glimmer of hope and sunshine and love I hope you can see that with all the sun rays coming through and I will say that when I put this pattern out I learned quite a lot because I rushed it I didn't give it enough hype and it didn't do that well when I launched it and I don't know if it's because I whether I because I rushed it or because I because I'm known for granny squares I don't know but this is gorgeous and i also like wearing it like this as a clutch as well as like that this one is also already available on my website it's called glimmer and all of these patterns will be linked below now there's one other thing that i need a little bit of help with it seems so dark in here but then that's just too bright. Ah! The other thing that I am still deliberating, and maybe you can help me with this as well, is what do I call the bag subscription? I am leaning towards calling it bag subscription just so that it is literally what it says on the tin. And then people, when I've like got it on my website and my drop down on Instagram, they know what they are looking for and they can find it. But also I quite, I'd quite like a name for it that is cute, you know? Or at least a name for those that are in my subscription. Not all of the patterns are gonna be granny square, so I don't wanna be like misleading anybody. Um, Brad said something like bag stars. I want something cute, like a team. Something club, squad. My subscription squad. Everything needs like a cute name. So yeah, I need a name for this and I need to know whether to call my subscription bag subscription squad. I don't know. What would you call it? Have you got any ideas for me?
Thank you once again for watching all of my vlogs, for commenting, for sharing. So much love on them. I'm going to share a comment of the week. It's comments of the week because I managed to skip last week's in my haste to get the video out. So here is my comments of the week. And this one. Shout out to all of you lot because literally... <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for being so supportive. Thank you for being here. And I can't wait to share more with you. I am crocheting like fury and just really enjoying it. Really, really enjoying putting these patterns together and surprising myself at my creativity. So I hope you have some time to snuggle your babies and crochet your art out. And I'll see you in the next one. I feel like we should stack these so you can see them all <laughs> this is amazing i'm buzzing for my next photo shoot not gonna lie not gonna lie it's 77 degrees fahrenheit so it's 25 degrees slash 70 75 degrees fahrenheit we do not have air conditioning here in the uk in our homes like it's not a standard thing it's warm and I've just been outside trying to record content. Back in the day before I had Teddy, I would spend like the whole day taking content. So I'd get myself ready. I'd have plans of everything I want to record, the transitions, the reels, the lot. I'd take loads of photos. I'd take loads of footage for Instagram, for YouTube. And literally now I have like 40 minutes max and I need to get all of my Instagram, all of my YouTube um, content, all of like the photos, the reels, everything done. And I also need to record my vlogs. And I'll just tell you now that like the behind the scenes of trying to record this was quite laughable. I feel like I'm racing against the clock and I'm not entirely sure what to say. I don't know when they're gonna pop in. So let's just try to do what we can do. Plus I am sweating sweating